Hello students, in this problem it is said that we have to evaluate the value of 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx integration. Okay? So first of all, how to solve this problem? So first uh, starts with the indefinite integration tan inverse x dx. Okay? So we can use the biparts to solve this problem. So it is uh, x0 and tan inverse x dx. So here uh, using eyelet, right? using i let uh, inverse is first and algebraic is second so we can choose it first function and it is second function so first function is outside and integration of second function minus differentiation of first function with respect to x and integration of second function with respect to x and whole integration so it is a uh, x tan inverse x minus and differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 divided by 1 plus x square and it is x dx so uh, it is uh, x of tan inverse uh, this minus half and 2x dx divided by 1 plus x square here we multiply and divide by 2 okay because uh, if you put here 1 plus x square 1 plus x square is equal to t so it will give 2x dx is equal to dt right and if you integrate uh, 2x dx divided 1 plus x square it is just like dt divided by t so it is ln t right yani ki ln 1 plus x square okay so we can write this tan inverse x minus half of uh, ln 1 plus x square so uh, this is the integration constant so the value of indefinite integration tan inverse x dx is x tan inverse x minus half of ln 1 plus x square. Now uh, we have to find the uh, definite integration value. It means i is equal to 0 to 1 and tan inverse x dx. So here uh, we can only apply the limit because we have already integrated this function. So x d tan inverse x minus half of minus half of ln 1 plus x square and 0 to 1 so it is 1 tan inverse 1 okay it is 1 tan inverse 1 minus half of ln 1 plus 1 square and minus if you apply 0 here so 0 tan inverse 0 minus half of ln 1 plus 0 so this term is 0 this term is 0 so it is pi by 4 because tan inverse 1 is pi by 4 minus ln 2 right yet it means half ln 2 so this is the value of i this is the integrational integral value of 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx okay now uh, by the help of this uh, integration yani using this integration we have to solve another integration like uh, uh, this prove that 0 to 1 cot inverse 1 minus uh, x plus x square dx is equal to 2 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx and the value of this uh, integration is pi by 2 minus ln 2. So let us start uh, 0 to 1 cot inverse 1 minus x plus x square uh, it can be written like uh, 0 to 1 and tan inverse 1 by 1 minus x plus x square okay because tan because cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse 1 by x okay so it is also written like uh, tan inverse x okay and uh, here we can apply here x minus x minus 1 and 1 my 1 plus x and x minus 1 okay so both this and this function is same right so 1 is replaced by x minus x minus 1 and it is uh, written like 1 plus x x minus 1 okay so what is the purpose to write like this because it can be uh, it can be reduced 0 to 1 and tan inverse uh, a minus tan inverse b okay it is like this so it is 0 to 1 tan inverse x minus 0 to 1 tan inverse x minus 1 dx 
now we apply king's rule on second integration here it is uh, tan inverse 1 minus x x is replaced by 1 minus 1 minus x minus 1 okay it is 1 minus x minus 1 so 1 minus x minus 1 and it is uh, dx so it can be right like uh, 0 to 1 tan inverse x minus 0 to 1 and 1 1 cancel out it is tan inverse minus x dx so we can say 0 to 1 tan inverse x minus minus plus 0 to 1 and it is just like tan inverse x dx tan inverse minus x is minus tan inverse x okay so it is just like 2 0 to 1 tan inverse x so first proof is clear and uh, we can apply here as uh, 2 and from first from first result in this result we have find the value of this function is pi by 2 minus half ln 2 right so we can apply here so it is uh, 2 and uh, pi by 4 minus half of ln 2 the value of 0 to 1 10 inverse x so it is pi by 2 and minus ln 2 proved okay guys i hope you understand all these uh, calculations so enjoy okay thank you bye bye